Something to watch out for Manchester Storm countering. Here comes Patrick Vronke, man. Vronke in the zone, tries to go around the outside. Good play by Negrin to keep him. And Vronke again with a backhand effort. Good save by the goaltender again. That backhand effort is always a difficult one for the goaltender to, to uh, get a good read on. Yeah, difficult to pick up uh, how it's coming off the stick there. All Picked up Pellich and a Storm player come together there, but down in low for Pushkarich. Pushkarich was a player and the captain of the University of Vermont a couple of seasons ago for the Friendship Four. So uh, we know a little bit about him, Mario Pushkarich. Yes. Yeah. Good chance there. Bobby Forham looks to get in behind the defence, takes a chance, oh. pushes it through the five hole, and the Giants get a short-handed goal from Bobby Farnham. Simon, that's great to see. A little bit slow to get up the mark for the goals, but what a great move there. Just a veteran play, fighting off the check down the boards, driving to the net hard. You can see in the replay here, what a great use of skill there. One hand has the presence of mind just to squeeze it between the goalie's legs, and what a super goal by Bobby Farnham. Bobby Farnham playing the show, and comes off with a big goal there to get the Giants up and running here. He knew he was up against a forward who's playing defense on the power play. Cam Critchlow just couldn't get position on him. And a great bit of work by getting to the front line and slotting it through the goaltender's legs. Forsberg. To the left side for Curtis Hamilton. Hamilton eyes in behind. Chance there for Lewis Hook. A good snapshot there from the top of the circle. But on the second attempt, Matt Ginn manages to cover it up. Yeah, not much room there uh, for Lewis Hook. The shot coming to see the replay. Just coming down the boards, getting away quickly. Sometimes it's good, catch the goalie napping, but uh, nothing doing. Not much from the lookout. Face off to the left of Ginn. A good clean face off win there from Critchlow. Real battle here, oh. Kieran Long and Critchlow having a conversation and, and behind the uh, feed that you were getting there on the screens. Long, a good hit from Declan Palmer coming together there along with Jordan Smotherman. Smotherman not happy with that hit. And he's dropped the gloves, Jordan Smotherman. And Declan Palmer, a couple of rights coming in from Smotherman. Palmer with a right hand of his own. A big hit from Smotherman once again. He's trying to get the lid off with an uppercut there again. Right hand from Smotherman. The crowd are on their feet here at the SSC Arena. It's been a while since there's been a coming together. A little top there from the players, but gets the energy going in the building, Johnny. You hear that crowd. <laughs> you see the the uh, appreciation for the Belfast crowd for a bit of fisticuffs. Fans missing that from years gone by when Adam Keith was going Adam to drop him once in a uh, while. He's, he's had a, a few scraps in here. Let's see if we can get a chance of a replay on that occasion. If we can, we'll probably get it at the end of the yeah, well second period. It was period. building right before that. You know, Kieran Long mixing it up just previous to that. What did you make of the hit from, from Declan Palmer? I thought it was decent, to be honest. Yeah, I didn't see much in it. I mean, uh, I, again, right before that, uh, maybe uh, Kieran Long got away with it a little bit. I think the, the Ben Ulmer play. looking for a uh, extra penalty here, and our, we will bring that to you in just a second. We'll try and get the action off that fight and the end of the first period highlights. Chance there from the blue line for Sullivan. He takes a couple of ricochets and ends up behind the net of Shane Owen. Big hit from behind Owen once again, and Jesse Forsberg finishing the check on his man, which is Scott Simmons. Here comes Ben Lake. Lake between the legs, tries to get in front. Oh. Tries to put it home, but that's a great save by Matt Ginn. Fantastic skill by Ben Lake. Yeah, Ben Lake's really impressed me in this game, but you know, all year long, he's been a really great player to watch. He's physical. Every time he's out on the ice, he does his best for his teammates. What a move, though. Fantastic skill by the chance number nine. And things are getting a little bit chippy here with 5.40 to go in the first period. And uh, there's a long way to go here tonight. On again tomorrow, Pellich finishes his check and throws them on into the bench. <laughs> that was a quick change there from Kyle Hope. Adam Long, which is Kieran Long's brother, actually he's the backup goaltender tonight for the Manchester Storm. So uh, a little bit of family business. I'm sure they'll be looking for a chirp fest after the game. Morgan. Morgan now to the blue line. Big shot coming in. Takes a deflection note and goes wide to the target. Pellets keeps it in at the blue line and sends it the whole way around the horn. Hook. 
Tries to get on there, in behind the defense. Jared Owen gets in behind Swindlers, and a big save from Shane Owen. A great stick in the lane that time, but a big opportunity there for the Manchester Storm. And that was huge by Shane Owen there. A great opportunity for the Manchester Storm, countering the, the bounce to the neutral zone, and a breakaway out of nothing. Garside giving chase, and Garside spins away from Gagnon on that occasion. Gagnon in behind, though. Kieran Long takes a knock from the Storm number 75. He's had a couple of big tilts already this season. There's a chance there and a good stick. And Liam put the made it 1-1. Garside stripped the puck by Liam Ulmer. And that's one of those things this season that's been the story for the Belfast Giants. When they get on top of the games, they don't capitalize on the chances that they've had. And things are tied up with only 12.6 seconds to go in the first period. Yeah, Simon, I mean, you're absolutely right. I mean, the danger signs were there. And shit before that, getting a breakaway uh, out of nothing against the Giants. And that's the... That's the difficulty. You're pressing, pressing, and you're not scoring. And uh, so you, the tendency is to keep pressing more and more. And so Belfast keeping it to Blue Knight through Smother and Smother winds up, sends it across for Morgan with a shot, but a good save by the goaltender once again. Pellich cross ice again to Morgan. Liam Morgan down low for Reddix. Now Reddix has time to get the head up and sends it back up the wall. Cross ice. But Smother and I with a big shot, but wide the target. Morgan. Sends it across to Smotherman now again. Looking for a tip in front. The Giants get the second goal of the night with a great redirect in the top of the high slot. And Brian Ward gets a par play goal. Yeah, fantastic goal. And that's exactly what Belfast won. A couple of minutes into the second period, answered back and uh, getting their noses in front after that late goal from Manchester. Uh, we've seen that before in here in the Odyssey. The Giants will work around that umbrella, power play position. Look for that high guy sort of on the center line marks. And uh, as you see, Wardo tips it perfectly and gets it above the blocker. Smotherman round behind, and that's cut out by Jared Owen. Owen tries to find a white jersey. It's just into the chance, and on. Forsberg ahead, but that's a stray pass, and big hit by Kieran Long. He's certainly striking up the physicality here this evening. Push cars, takes a bit of a nudge there. There's a chance. The puck breaks off the stanchion, and what a finish. 2-2. Two, two. That's a great finish by the Manchester Storm, and Finlay Ulrich. Gets his second goal of the season. Yeah, another sort of breakdown, I think, from the Giants. And uh, in fairness there, he's picked his, his, his spot pretty well and then blown over, the I think, in the glove of, uh, of Sheehan Owen there. Two on one, so I think he had to play a little bit deeper to you know, cover the pass, but unfortunately he gets beaten the shot there. Um, we'll see it again, a little, a little trouble holding on to these leads. Fenry Ulrich, Ulrich, sorry, 19 years of age. English player he played in the USA last year, and he's GB under... 18 player, so he gets a second goal of the season, and uh, that's certainly one he'll remember. That's a great finish yeah. from just inside the circles. It's like an odd bounce off the bench or something, and the D-man's caught flat-footed as well. So we're back to 2-2, Manchester Storm behind twice, and they've tied it up twice. There's a foot race here as Matt Pellets finishes his check in the corner, and looks like he's going to do it again there. The Storm again battling hard as it breaks into the path of the Manchester Storm. Gets it back to the blue line. Shot coming in. Good save by Shane Owen. Grewell winds up and he's found it through. It's now 3 2 to the Manchester Storm. Deco just as quick as that. And two goals in less than a minute. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw a timeout here. We sort of regroup. That's. Um I think that's panicking, you know, you know whenever you're gripping the stick and, and things aren't going your way like they haven't been for the last few games, everyone tries to do a little bit too much. This slide here, Owe doesn't see that, there's two players in front of him and a Manchester Storm player standing in the crease. That one gets blown right by him. The Giants just need to calm down, regroup, go back to work, chip away at their lead and see where we're at after that. Three Storm players, and here comes Cody Thompson once again, Swindlers looking to... Just take the space away from him. Swindlers has a stick tied up. There's a chance right front. A great poke check from Stephen Murphy. That's right at the back door. But it'll go the other way. Here comes Smallerman. Smallerman cross ice the top of the circle. Shot coming in. Big save by the goaltender. And up into the safety netting. Leonard can't get a hold of it. Thompson just keeps that one on side. And he's got a bit of space here. He looks to get it in front. Good save by Murphy once again. Real battle down to the right hand side of Stephen Murphy. Morgan looks to get that onto the stick of a teammate under pressure and banks it off the wall. 
Morgan finishes his check well and Drew Walton tries to make a nuisance of himself as Lewis Hook again doing a good job and as it breaks for Ben Lake, Lake into the zone, finishes it off! Great move by Ben Lake but a great aggressive forecheck coming in there from his line mates, pucks bounce free to Ben Lake and he puts it up over the blocker of Matt Gain for 3-3. I mean, that line's been great all night tonight. There's Lake with a great move coming down low. Tucks it up. Great job over top of the blocker. And for me, that play was created by Liam Morgan there. He just makes a half pick there. Just to create that space, and that's what you have to do. Rather than going outside, all outside, all outside, you have to drive to the middle and create space for somebody to use. So it's 3-3 with 10.26 to go. A good reaction there, but it, it, it just takes a little bounce from the puck, Johnny, to get a little bit of puck luck as a as a, you know, a good saying in hockey is, but it, it's been it's been coming, the, the pressure's coming on to him. But the Manchester Storm, again, doing a great job defensively so far in this game. So through the blue line, Smotherman picks it up in the corner. Smotherman. Jordan Smotherman under pressure from Negrin. Negrin doing a really good job there for the Manchester Storm, Liam Morgan. Morgan, he decides to send that back down where it came from, 18 seconds on the clock. Puck was round behind for Ben Lake. He's got the game time goal. Ben Lake. Right from Chucks for Belfast and a great save from Matt Ginn. Oh, really well worked play. Morgan in front of the net. That's Lake behind the net delivering the puck into him. Super pass. Just didn't quite get what he wanted on that. Liam Morgan, such a smart player, Johnny. Just gives a defenseman a little bit of a nudge there. Creates that little bit of space, drives into the top of the blue paint. And that's a great save by Matt Ginn. Yeah. Potentially a game saver, saver for the Storm. 10.4 on the clock. Face off win. Back to the blue line for Kevin Rain. Rain, a bobble and puck goes forward. Back hand oh. off the crossbar! What a chance from Jean Dupuis. It come off the crossbar and up. 2-2 two, two and Fife. Fife and Guilford. Come from two down. Good face off win there again. It's the foot race here between Allen and Kevin Rain. Rain finishes his check. Smotherman picks it up behind the net. Jordan Smotherman against Leon Ulmer. Ulmer trying to get a reach on him, but good four check there again. On a back check, sorry, by Leon Ulmer's a chance here in the mob man rush. Jordan Allen into the zone, tries to go five hole. Great save by Stephen Murphy. Ulmer picks the puck up behind the net, sends it go over, takes it a flex, and a chance. It's what a save from Stephen Murphy! The referee was right on the goal line. And Murphy comes up with a huge save for the standing line Belfast Giants. We've got to have a look at this on a replay. Great play by the Manchester Storm. He sent it goalward, takes a deflection off his own defenseman, off the post. And Stephen Murphy just made Jared Olin hesitate for that last second. And Murphy. Covers it up. What a save by Murph. First penalty shot, Bram Ward. Comes into the zone, slows things down, steps in, tries to go to Ward, he moves and doesn't even get the shot away on that occasion. So Mario Puskaritz into the zone now. Puskaritz steps inside and he slots it home. It's 1 0 to the storm. Ben Lake, nice and slow, coming over the line, speeds things up as he gets to the Harry Carey sign. Chance in, and he ties things up. Ben Lake with 1-1 one, one, shootout. Opportunity here, the Chance fans making some noise and Fawcett steps in, fakes a shot. Chance there, and what a finish from the Storm number 16. Here comes Jordan Smotherman. Smotherman, he's already got one helper here tonight. Chance off the oh. post. Oh, it's Thompson, number 19. Cody Thompson. Thompson slows it down, fakes a shot. They're on a great save from Stephen Murphy. Just tried to free Stephen Murphy there. Yeah. Hamilton now. He's the leading point scorer, sorry, leading goal scorer for Belfast so far this season. Goes down to the left side, takes a shot, and a save there by Matt Ginn. Picks the puck up at center ice. Goes down the right side. Stephen Murphy in net. Tries to make a move, and they finished it off. And the Manchester Storm take the extra point tonight here in Belfast, and the fans rise to their feet. They're down to our right hand side, but. Johnny, a performance that stemmed from a really 
strong goaltender and a really strong defensive unit. Yeah, Simon, it was a good game there. The Masters drawn. Give them some credit. Uh, the big win yesterday and then coming here with another win. Solid performance by their goaltender and uh, not just their defensive core, but their forwards, making it difficult for the Giants to collect any rebounds in front of them.